Good evening one and all and welcome to the video. This video I'm going to be talking about if you have millions of items or objects in AWS S3 bucket, how you can delete it, right? Well, there are a couple of ways. The first easiest way is you can go to the console from the drop down, select delete option and it would just work fine. But for million objects, you have to keep the browser open for several days. Maybe not the best idea that you want to do. The second option you will think, oh, okay, if I want to delete objects, why don't I just write a script, right? I'll use Boto3, I'll use Paginator object, I'll iterate over the object page by page, and I'll do threading, delete it. Well, now here's the problem. Well, you wrote the script, but you need to host the script somewhere. You need to now essentially start an EC2 instance and then run your script on that, right? Again, a problem, right? Because the script might take a long time, which is why you wanna know about AWS Glue. In this short demo, I'll be teaching you how to purge all the data from the S3 or the data lake using a simple purge command. We're gonna write a glue script. So let's get started with the video. So now, since you know the use case, the, the code is very, very, very easy. There's nothing crazy here. So as you can see, I'm creating a Spark session and then I'm saying glue context.purge S3. I'm providing in the, uh, providing in the URI or the path which I want to delete and then I'm saying that all the uh, create a manifest file and store it in this uh, destination well uh, as you can see right instead of writing boto3 how much lines of co code you would write right so this solves your problem right so which is why I'm saying like you know uh, there are several ways to do things you know but uh, I think AWS has most of the stuff very nice I mean it goes to, what I'm saying is AWS ecosystem is pretty nice. Everything goes pretty well with each other, right? So you can read more here on all the attributes it takes. But um, yeah, let's get, let, let's start let's start it. So as you can see, I have some data here. Customer, these are fake data points, right? So what I did is I essentially wrote a script. Uh, essentially, uh, I'll show you a quick settings, edit job, Spark, Spark 3.1 Python 3, right? Uh, this is where my script is stored in the directory. I gave the IAM role, script path, and that's pretty much it. And now I'm, I'll be showing you the script shortly. So I did script, we'll close this one. As you can see, very easy. I have not done anything crazy. All it does um, is, uh, you know, we essentially call purge S3, right? So let me copy this to make sure that I don't have any syntax error. All right, looks like we are good. So just double checking splitting that over multiple lines okay so looks like my script is pretty good uh, very simple nothing crazy a simple one line of code i'm gonna click on save now i'll go to the job legacy right and then we shall run the job so i'll start the job and now this is gonna be starting up spark session i'm using 10 worker nodes uh, i can show you the details uh, shortly so if i so now as you can see here i'm using um, you know uh, the workers are 10, right? You can uh, add more workers. You can also uh, essentially trigger glue jobs on, um, on, on, on through a Lambda function, through step functions, whatever you want, you know, based on the use case. You can fire jobs based on uh, that as well. So that's that. So I'm still waiting here. Now, as you can see, my, my job has started. It's running at this point. So let's wait. And once it's done, uh, it would delete all the data and it would create a beautiful manifest file for you where you can see all the objects that it has deleted. So I, 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 li I liked it pretty much um, the glue approach uh, to delete massive objects, right? If you have a lot of objects and if you want to delete that, I think this is the most easiest way you can do it, right? So let's wait for the script to complete. Ideally, it takes about 60 seconds or 120 seconds, which is about a minute or two. You can easily add more workers if you have a lot of data, if you, you know, uh, thus that you can set up uh, execution timeout, right? Which means how much, after how many time your glue job should timeout, right? You could do that. You could set a retry, as you can see the job has succeeded. Uh, you could set up retry, there's a lot more, right? So now I'll refresh this, data is gone, all the data is gone. Now, as you can see, my bucket is now completely empty. Now it created a beautiful manifest file. So we'll go to the success. I'll download this file and actually show you. So I downloaded that file. I'm gonna click on show in Explorer and hopefully I'll edit that with Notepad++. 
and as you can see sawmill dev bucket data source customer id is equal to 2 exact path of that kinesis law on youtube blah 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 that's the file name so you essentially have a beautiful manifest file right so i hope you found this video useful trust me a lot of people are searching for like simple answers like this right okay how do i delete objects right like what okay you can go to the ui but what if there are million two million objects when you work with big data traditional thing is not gonna work you have to use cloud you have to leverage the power of cloud to scale up right so that's what i'm trying to say okay thank you so much for watching if you have any more questions i'll leave your questions in the comments and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, try to answer if you have any questions with that being said thank you so much for watching keep smiling keep programming guys i'll see you guys in the upcoming next tutorial